Hey everyone, Dan Central here, and welcome to another playthrough. This time I'm going to be doing another Sonic game, and it's the last Sonic game in the three Sonic games that were released on the Sonic Gems collection, which um, Sonic fans were really happy about being able to play, probably apart from Sonic R. And that one is Sonic the Fighters. Now this game um, was released in the arcades in 1996, and it was arcade only, um, until it was ported onto the Sonic Gems collection in 2005. So... That was really, really, really um, a great turning point because um, a lot of Sonic fans never got to play this and now they're able to play it. So I'm really glad they did that because I, was, I didn't know about it when it was in the arcades. So it was great to be able to play it. So I'm going to take you through the game, um, go through the fights. Um, I probably won't um, get right to the end and do the last battle with Metal Sonic because it's unbelievably hard. But... I'm still going to um, um, go for it anyway. And it will still be a completed playthrough because I would have got right to the end. Um, so there we go. So let's go to arcade mode. Now you can choose between Sonic the Hedgehog, Tails, uh, Fang the Sniper, Bean the Dynamite, Bart the Polar Bear, Espio the Chameleon, Amy Rose, or Rosie the Rascal, okay. Knuckles, uh, Knuckles the Echidna. Now you have uh, 20 seconds to choose or it immediately chooses it for you depending on whichever character your um, curse is on but I'm just going to choose Sonic now this is a good fight to see Sonic and Knuckles because they've always been rivals now obviously it's a fighting game now if I just press start a minute you, go, you can actually bring up a move list and it tells you what to do now obviously it's not going to correspond exactly with the PS2 controller because this is based on um, I think it was based on um, the arcade possibly um, but um, P would be X I don't know. Uh, K would be would be square, I think, and maybe B would be circle. Actually, I don't hold me to that. I'm not sure, but it's a bit confusing because it's obviously based on an arcade-only game. It's not going to be exactly um, matching what's on the um, PS2. But yeah, you can kick, you can punch, you can jump up, you can somersault and land on them like that. Um, it's a really good. Oh dear. It's a really good game actually. It's the only Sonic fighting game that I know about where, where it's solely about, you know, doing fights and stuff. So it's quite a cool idea. I have to say, I'm feeling a lot better playing this game than I did playing Sonic R. I'm just glad that game's done. And I have to say, I really like the music in this game, because I love dance music, so I'm really liking the music in this game. And there we go, that's the first one clear. The other thing is, um, having that kind of music as well drives you on to do well, because dance music is good for, like, um, you know, filling you with adrenaline and keep, you know, keeping it going, if that makes sense. Oh, you're being awkward, aren't you? Sometimes the computers will keep putting up their barriers and that gets really annoying. You're going to annoy me, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, it's going to be a close one. Oh, no. Come on, Sonic. Come on, Sonic. No. Come on, Sonic. No. <laughs> Trust Amy to move out the way at the last minute. It's not over yet, though. It's not over yet. See, she moves out the way, and while you're on the floor, she smacks you with a hammer. That's not on. Yes, 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 no! Come on. Yes. So we've obviously got to do a third round now, because it's one all. So it's taken a bit longer to do this, this um, fight. But hey-ho, if it means I win at the end of it, well, hopefully, then it's all good. Oh. She was going to climb on the rope and then... Launch yourself on me, you sneaky cow. It's 
See, and this is only the second fight, and already it's getting tricky. Are you... That's not on. That was lucky. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to, you know, start again, so yeah, that's all good. So we're doing, we're doing all right for time. We should be able to get the next stage in, at least. Ah, uh, Bart the Polar Bear. He's a bit of a sneaky idiot. Uh, and also being on ice is why it makes it harder, because you're just sliding about everywhere. He really does go for you. Well, it's not too bad at the moment, we'll see. And I hope you can see this alright guys. I know it might be a bit blurred, possibly, I don't know. Oh, oh no you don't. Not if I can help it. Oh yes. Yeah, we're doing fine. We'll get we should get the next stage in as well. Mushroom Hill, where have you heard that level before? Sonic and Knuckles. Or Sonic 3 and Knuckles. They've both got the, the level in it. See, I could do, I could be doing fancy moves and stuff, but I always mess them up. So I just find if you stick to the standard somersault drops and, you know, um, just normal punches, it tends to do the trick. Although, having said that, in some of the later stages, it doesn't always pay off. Oh, you? Come here. Come here. Don't put your barrier up. Don't be a loser. Come on, I'm ready for you. And there we go. Okay, we should be able to get the next stage in as well, guys. So we're doing all right. Now this is one match that some people don't like seeing. I know my friend Ziggy, um, who's been doing some shared playthroughs with me, doesn't like seeing this one. Because obviously Sonic and Towers are best friends, but they're portrayed as best friends in the Sonic games. So to see them fighting is not very good. But I, I look on it as a play fight. See, that's the other thing about towels. He tends to try and do that a lot, pick you up, and that gets annoying. <coughs> Anyone out there who doesn't like this fight is welcome to look away. And I'll let you know when you can look back again. <laughs> I'm only doing this because I have to. Oh, that's got to hurt. Alright then, if anyone looked away, you can look back now. <laughs> okay, so this is Fang the Sniper. He is a, yeah, he's a, he's a pain in the bum. He uses his barrier a lot. I do like this level design as well though, the kind of the, you know the playing card effect with the spades and the clubs and the hearts. But hopefully oh, he's got that corkscrew thing as well, the cork thing. There we go. We, would just, we should just get this part in, guys. I mean, if I win this, then definitely. If he wins, it's going to take longer. But hopefully, I should win. 
Ah, uh, no, you don't. Yeah, nearly there, nearly there. Awesome. So there we go, guys. That's it for this part. Thanks a lot for watching. Join me in the second part. We'll finish these fights off and, and hopefully complete the game.